Guess what? Today is moving day! And I am so excited because I have been moving for the past two weeks now. It has been such a process, such a divine process, but it is the biggest move I've ever personally done in my life where I've gathered all of my things and I'm moving them now into one place where usually I have a place in California that I just keep and then I just travel everywhere. Lived in Bali for six months, go to Costa Rica multiple times a year. I road tripped Jamaica for a month while living in that house, Guatemala, so many places, yet I always had that place in California. But now we are moving to Texas, or we moved to Texas, y'all. So motherfucking howdy, I'm stoked off that. What a change, I never thought I would actually leave California. I it was just time for a change. I just needed a new energy, a new field, a new frequency. And like, really, that's what we're here on earth to do. So I'm here for the evolution. So I'm here for it. And I'm also here for this little armpit hair we got here. It's been like two months. I wax it. And we don't mind. We know we're beautiful regardless. We can rock the hair. It's like my underarms mustache, you know? No, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good. So yeah, I'll be all rocking that and uh, we rocking it and the movers are about to be here finally with all of my stuff from California. And like I said, this has definitely been a process where I was supposed to get my stuff like two weeks ago. This is not really that great of an angle, but we're going with it because I don't want to keep holding the camera right now. Gotta save my energy. But yeah, it's been like multiple days that it's been like, oh, it'll be here tomorrow, it'll be here tomorrow. But supposedly it's like really almost here. So yeah, I've been invited many times throughout this whole moving process to just trust the process and to be patient and to allow for whatever is to be to be when it is time to be. So hopefully it is time for my stuff to be here. And so it is. <laughs> And also with that too, I just want to mention, often people are like, oh, she's so happy because she probably experiences no challenges or obstacles in her life. Her life is probably so perfect and always so in flow and that's why she's always so happy. And it's like, no, 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 bro, no, no, no. I am actually this happy because I face challenges. Therefore, know that happiness, the frequency, the trust, the love is all you have regardless. That is the only thing that you have control over is your energy about something, your response, your interpretation of it, your experience of it. So although this has definitely been a process and it's been kind of like, what the actual fuck? So many times I have just been trusting like, okay, everything's, working out best case scenario for some reason like this is it and honestly i've been living in this little like minimalistic experience for the past week or longer than a week now and i love it it's actually so nice i felt like i've had so much space and also was able to set an energetic grid a light grid which i also just got done doing too where i set the intention for the energies the frequencies the experiences the ambiance in this space before all the stuff gets here so yeah i'll definitely be like staging all my stuff staging everything too just to cleanse the slate of the energy and to make room for the new light the new love the new energy to fully take place so yeah manifesting them coming right here right now okay no joke they literally just got here oh my god it's like straight up manifested that yeah they're turning around it's time this room's gonna be looking so good how hilarious will it be if the guy sees me just standing at the window at my door, <laughs> just recording him? All right, so it happened. Here is the middle process. It's definitely gonna be a process. I'm packing all the boxes, but already making some progress, you know? We got all the things. The guest bedroom and the music room bedroom already looking better this room is probably gonna take the most amount of time how much stuff i have to unpack but first a snack and of course some dancing okay i've been loving this simple snack of cucumber slices a drizzle of lemon 
and some sea salt. Mmm, so fresh, so clean, so nice and green. Sekhmet is so considerate. Look at him helping me unpack. And he's out, he's over it. Okay, so we all know how it goes with moving. Lots of tedious tasks, things to do, can be kind of stressful, or at least appear to be. And in terms of earth, time, and energy, it requires a lot. Yet, it is also such a significant and special process. Therefore, having fun, being weird, and encoding your items with intentional energy as you place them in their own living spaces actually does make a difference. I feel like items hold the energy you move them with, and when intentional and conscious of it, it amplifies it in the space. The theme for me in this current chapter is to prioritize play, to have more fun and freedom to express. So rather than putting an eating table here, I will be doing yoga and playing sound bowls here. I also find it really fun to play with angles and the physical, visual placement of things. It's like art to do so, and your creations are masterpieces. Alright, so this insanely large closet has given me the opportunity to organize my clothes based on the style and even origin of the items. I love gathering sacred local items from the different countries I travel to. So now I have sections for my different things from India, Peru, Guatemala, Bali, etc. It's a human dream come true. I'm very sensitive to color and feel I speak the language of color that exists in between moments in ways others may not. Meaning, colors set a tone for me and literally can change the way I feel. So I've chosen certain colors to amplify certain energies in each room. This outdoor vibe though. As I said, I have to bring some of the chill and tropical vibes from the other places I've lived. So this hammock definitely helps. And my backyard is not nearly as big as my last, which had a pool, multiple levels to it, and a garden where I grew my food. Yet, this came with a newish hot tub and leads to a forest path out back. So for now, it's perfect. Gotta get the vibes right. And the final touches. Some energy work in between, of course. Gotta set the light grid. Anchor in high frequencies of light, you already know. All right, fam, we have made progress. I officially feel like I'm like moved in where I can actually live my life and not have to navigate through so many boxes. I just went full on. I channeled for like five days straight all of my energy into making this place a masterpiece and it feels so good. And I'm gonna tap in with you on that in just a little bit. I'm gonna grab some cacao and sit down and officially begin my integration, my completion, where I get to actually enjoy and settle into this space. I have literally been going nonstop, so. First step, hot water. Second step, not segment. Cacao butter, cacao, Organifi, and stevia. This cacao is actually from Guatemala and is authentic cacao, so it's super potent. Extra Organifi. And I'm actually infusing this hot water to make rose tea with organic red rose buds. 
You gotta try it. Mix it all together. Some macadamia nut milk because I like it creamy. And we are good to go. Well, howdy y'all. Just kidding, I'm not gonna start talking in a Southern accent just because I live in Texas. However, I definitely do have the right to speak in an accent if I wanted to, a Southern accent specifically. If you saw my comedy video, it was just so inappropriate and just so excellent, so hilarious, at least to me. I was talking in a Southern accent and of course I got some comments that were just, you know, also ridiculous like, this is racist to Southern people, like, you're a terrible person. And, Actually, I have lived in the South. I lived in Texas when I was younger, also was born in Florida, and my dad, also my dad's side of the family, but my dad specifically has the thickest Southern accent that you've ever heard, where it's like he literally says different words than I say, and we're speaking the same language. And it's hilarious. I've been enjoying it my whole life. So yeah, I obviously was not making fun of Southern accents in that comedy video. So if you got offended by that, I'm offended that you're offended. So it cancels out. But anyways, it feels so good and it definitely is a shift to be moving to Texas. I never thought I would actually leave California. I, for the most part, grew up in California and I've had a place there that has been like my home base for the past few years as I've been traveling. So I always had a place to go back to in California. It's also where my family is now. And even just the vibes of California, like those Cali vibes, I was like, nah, I can never leave California like Texas. Like, what's in Texas for me? However, over the past two years, everyone's been moving to Texas. All of my friends individually from different groups who don't even know each other all felt the call at the same time. I was feeling the call like two years ago as well, but I was like, nah, not yet. Like, we don't gotta rush into things. I'm gonna wait this out. I'm gonna see if it's a phase. Not a phase, Texas is a thing. There is so much community here and the nature is also so beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna be here for at least 12 months, see how it is for a year, see how it feels. And I realized too, with the move, it's not that because I'm leaving California, I leave those vibes. I take those vibes with me everywhere. I was also raised in the Bay Area and then grew up most of my adult life in LA, San Diego area. And I just love the vibes, the chill vibes, the weather, the music, the paradise frequency where it's just like, oh, we live in how everyone's working hard to live. We're doing it now where it's just a certain frequency. And really this would probably only make sense to you if you lived in California, then you like actually know what I mean. Otherwise there are these of course outside projections of what LA is, what California is. However, it's legit. And again, Texas is also legit. America um, as like a whole, we don't even need to go into that right now. I'm definitely not gonna be living in America long-term when I have my kids raise my children. I'm not gonna be in America. And it was so much fun putting this place together. I really made it like a masterpiece creation of my own where it's like, okay, every item with intention. I said positive affirmations as I place certain things, certain places, and really made it a whole experience for myself. Rather than being stressed where it was like, holy shit, movers were even like, this is gonna take you more than a month if you're doing this by yourself. This is gonna be a really long process. And I was like, watch me in a few days. And sure enough, we did it. Definitely gonna need to be resting the next few days, but feeling accomplished. You know when you're at that point where you've like made that transition, that change, and it's kind of like you've been used to the energy of like going, going, needing to, and then it's like you're, you're there and it's like time to like enjoy it, rest, and like adjust your frequency so that you actually can be present with it and not stay in that like go, go, go survival, fight or flight mode where you have to get things done. Because yes, at times that mode is necessary, it is required in order for you to be safe or to complete things or to get things done. Yet there's also a frequency of trust, of surrender, of flow, of alignment. And that is what I'm amplifying now, that we are here. We must remember to celebrate the little wins. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep going and we're gonna forget what we were doing it for. We won't be grateful for it and therefore we won't enjoy it. And then it's like, why are we even doing it? So make sure you enjoy the little wins and I'm gonna do that now. Sending you all so much love and I would love to hear in the comments, what is a transition or a shift that you have been going through in your life recently? Cause it's about that time here on earth where it's like upgrading, changing, shifting, rearranging, relocating. So yeah, what's up in your world? Sending you love. All right, and here it is. This is the main space where I'll be chilling, stretching, some yoga, segment, 
And this is the kitchen. I love this fireplace and again find that the little details and placement of things really amplify an energy and a vibe. I've also put a mirror up here above this fireplace since I've recorded this, but you get the vibe. And my bedroom. Now this is probably my favorite room in any house just because I love sleeping so much. And that's exactly the purpose of this room, is to be a place where all I do is get good sleep, recharge, regenerate, and to feel good in when I get ready for the day. I also ended up hanging vines along this fence for some extra privacy, and I love the lush and vibrant ambiance it brings. Here's the music room. I've actually been manifesting having a specific place where all I do is make and record music and meditations for quite some time now, so I was so excited for this room. A cute little guest room, which Sekhmet has basically taken over, so it's more like his playroom. It's covered in cat toys at this point. But it's also a place where I can read cards and also have room for friends and family. This closet still needs some work, but I officially have everything unpacked, for the most part. So I'm proud. And we ended the night with a little self-care. May this be a friendly reminder to do something that nourishes you. Because the integration is just as important as the activation. Sending love, always.